Aries, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we're gonna take an issue, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting in your first house, this could be for you. You know the drill, guys. Thank you for all the support. Like, share, subscribe, comment. It all helps the channel grow. It's very much appreciated. Um, so with the subscriptions, do hit the not notification bell. I was uh, told that people aren't getting um, notifications, so I, whether... YouTube does its little sweep, I have no idea. Um, but hit the bell if you do want um, notifications. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, Aries, what's going on with you guys? One more. We have the King of Cups. Beautiful energy. Ooh, something's coming. I almost feel like there's an overwhelming amount of emotion that's building up here. It feels like this sort of wave is going to crash over this King of Cups. Interesting. But again, you guys are fire. Too much water can really put out a fire immediately. Um, so let's see what's going on. What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Advice. And potential outcome. Okay. Okay. Very interesting read. Bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is Jupiter in Gemini, which we're moving into in a couple of days' time. Um, ruler of your third house, so local community, um, networking. The Fool, Page of Wands, Four of Wands, Three of Discs, Judgment, Page of Discs, Wu Wei. Right, so there's something... I. There's going to be an overwhelming energy here, um, but it requires, something requires delicacy, is probably the easiest way I want to put this. Um, this could be rushing in too quickly to a situation, you know, acting on impulse. I feel like you, what you're manifesting is coming, is coming into... Um, Right, how do I want to put this? Say if this was a relationship, what you're manifesting will come into reality, but there's lessons that need to be learned first, whether that's you or the other person, whether this is a business related thing. Again, it feels like it's a connection between two people because the King of Cups is certainly offering something here. And this is an overwhelming rush of emotion and it's, yeah, if it, it's something, it feels like something that needs to be a, 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 a kind of a delicacy. It's, that's a word I can, uh, that keeps coming. So the, the King of Cups. What we're aware of is the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands is like it's, it's ten of fire. It's ten of you know when we get that big rush of fire, we need a big rush of the wave. But we've got to be careful because there needs to be a balance. You'll have heard me speak many many times when it comes to true alchemy. We have to get it right. We have to get that perfect balance between the head and the heart, the right side of the hemisphere, right hemisphere of the brain and the left hemisphere of the brain. Clearly, my not working there. Um, uh, we need to get that nice and balanced because uh, with with water, too much water puts out the fire. Too much fire will turn the water into steam. Perfect container, a pot, a pan can cook beautiful food if we get the right balance. So there's just something about, you know, maybe there's been too much fire, too much passion into something or too much, you know, intensity with something. Um, what we're not aware of is the death card. Something is going through a transformation here. 
it's something that you want and something that you've manifested because the recent past is the magician. The magician has all the tools necessary. Um, he's kind of giving you a wink here to say, you've got this, you know, that whatever is, is in play at the moment needs to, it, it's, it's happening, it's in, it's in motion. But there's a delicacy that is taking place here and it could be giving into something, giving into passions, giving into temptations. There's just something that is, it's like the it's like the devil's carrying a little carrot dangling. There's your advice is the devil. So pay attention to anything that is very, very tempting right now that might derail you from your manifestation or might have you rushing in too quickly based on temptation and lust and that type of thing. Your outcome is that ace of cups. The ace of cups that the king of cups is offering is there, is 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 getting offered. But if we if we break down the ten of wands, we see a different story. Because what's wedged between the death card and the devil is temperance, alchemy. Ten of wands is Saturn in temp in um uh, Sagittarius, so um, the world meets temperance. Temperance is wedged between death and the devil. But the world, Saturn, lessons, contracts. It's, it's like something has to play out first before the next level of this. Again, this might absolutely be nothing to do with you. It might be the, the surrounding energies. Um, but very, very interesting. I want to check out where the temperance is and I want to check out where uh, the world is. But yeah, there's something there's something that needs to be dealt You know, just this just needs delicacy is, is the best way I can uh, can describe this. So, the world is with the interesting, very interesting. Okay, how do I say this? Trust the stars. Trust the stars that your manifestation is aligning perfectly to what needs to happen. Um, because we've got here, the world is with the five of swords and the pit and the two of wands. Now, if we look at that, there's a very, very significant energy here of um, two of wands is Mars and Aries which is where it is now, giving you a burst of energy and a burst of confidence. Venus in Aquarius, we've just had the conjunction between Venus and Uranus, which is that energy. Very, very potent energies, which is expect the unexpected in love, romance, etc., etc. But interestingly, me personally, I, I've never come, come across another reader that does this, but it, it was just a, a tie that I put together a couple of years ago. Anytime I see the world next to the two of wands, because in the traditional sense, the two of wands... He's holding the world in his hand and he's looking backwards. Screams Saturn retrograde to me. So we're looking backwards, looking at the world. Saturn moves into retrograde next month. I'm doing this reading for June. So Saturn retrograde is going to be there. That's in your 12th house. That's not easy. There's, 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 there's subconscious aspects going on there. Um, you, you're being asked to rethink what goes on in that 12th house domain. Um, how you, you know, deal with isolation, how you deal with the aspect of loneliness, how you deal with um, your mental health practices, how you deal with your spirituality. All these things are getting um, highlighted for you guys in that 12th house. The moon in Sagittarius, which is coming up in a couple of days, is, is really pushing you to acknowledge some, some things. Um... Temperance is with the Ace of Discs and Saturn in Pisces. <laughs> Saturn in your 12th house with the Eight of Cups. Uh, there's some, it's like it, it, you're basically being told, trust the seeds that planted, trust the, um, the, the stars aligning for you, for whatever this is, whatever it is, is leading to happiness, the Ten of Cups. Um, you just need to trust some sort of process here. Um, interesting so in your extended i'm going to look at what why this needs delicacy we're going to take the energy of um for some of you this could be um when we look at the ten of wands and the devil it screams um uh, overworking over pushing burnout so there could be something to do with those lines really pushing something that you know 
you're you're the emperor so uh, emperor is masculine energy it's mars it's go 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 and it might be right now we need to tap into water and earth with capricorn and scorpio which is you know diving into sort of uh, darkness of of um of manifestation you know trusting trusting in the unseen saturn in your in that 12th house is, is asking you to trust in the unseen uh, whilst things align but you're getting everything you desire there's just something you need to be delicate about here it could be your health if you're pushing too much with this ten of wands and and, and the devil okay so in the, in the extended we'll look at what the um uh, what the delicacy is uh, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. We have Saturn in uh, Saturn in Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have Gemini, Virgo. We have Capricorn. Jupiter in Gemini. We have Gemini, Aquarius. Venus in Aries. Mars in Capricorn. Scorpio in Libra. Aries. Mars in... Nope, Saturn in Leo. Interestingly, you guys, we've got the Knight of Wands and the, um, and the Saturn in Leo card here. So I kind of feel like... That's that energy of wanting to move forward, but Saturn's having you just dive into a bit of contemplation. Okay. Wands, cups, swords. We had pentacles, didn't we? Yep, pentacles. Everyone's here. Those are the standouts. Let me know. See you soon. Bye.